So what's the sustainability of a reef like, especially a heavily fished reef? Sometimes numbers can be confusing, but sometimes they give us an idea of what a reef can do. Take the island of Pompeii in Micronesia. It's got a 60 mile reef with the island in the center. And there's about 30,000 people that live on this island. And if we divide up the reef and the island into slices for each person, then each of these slices per person is about 10 feet along the reef. So every person has about 10 feet of reef area and about an acre of lagoon behind it to support their needs. So those numbers are just approximate, but it shows how little reef area there really is to support a single person. An acre of reef, if it's in good shape, might have a standing stock of a couple hundred pounds of fish on it, and that's what a person would draw from for their year's food. But an overfished reef will have much less fish than that, maybe 40 or 50 pounds. Now what makes this problem even worse is if the reef is not only supposed to support the local population, but if it's used for export as well. There people will tend to take as much as they can, they'll, they'll basically mine the reef for fish, pack them all in coolers, and then ship them off to somewhere else. So the difference between sustainable reef and not sustainable reef is really how well you take care of the reef. A healthy reef has got a lot of standing stock, it can probably support a person, but a damaged reef cannot.